YouTube, what's going on? We're live. Uh, there's my truck. Um, just bought it, 2013 Freightliner Cascadia, 340,000 miles. It's got the DD15 in it. Um, it's a pretty nice truck. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, anyways, I'm making this video. Um, I guess for all the people that um, are looking to buy a truck from wherever, Lone Mountain, or if you're looking at doing something like what I'm doing and uh, going through Lone Mountain and then signing on to Landstar, um, there's going to be a few things that you're going to need to do that are very, very crucial. Um, <clears throat> two of those things being, um, you're going to need your EIN number, okay? And you're going to need the 2290. These things are very, very, very important. Make sure you have them before you even try to go buy the truck at Lone Mountain, before you even try to um, get into the orientation at Landstar. You're going to need your EIN number. Basically, an EIN number is just like I, every person has a social security number. It's basically a number to identify your business with. So you're going to need your EIN number and you're going to need to get your 2290. And in order to get your 2290, um, you're gonna have to have your EIN number so you can get on you can get on a uh, irs.gov and I think go to the form section scroll down to where it says business and uh, There's a spot right there where it says EIN and uh, I think you just got to fill it out fax it back and um, You know then they'll comfort they'll send you the confirmation in your email and everything with uh, the EIN and um, Then after you get your EIN um, I think you got to go to express trucktax.com or um, I'm pretty sure that's the website, but yeah, go to expresstrucktax.com and uh, go to the 2290 section. Um, you're gonna need to have your, your VIN number ready and your EIN number, and it'll walk you through the process and everything. So yeah, just make sure, because that's the problem I'm running into is I didn't have the EIN and the 2290 before I got here. So now I'm having to basically uh, do all this the hard way. and. Um, I gotta basically go tomorrow to uh, turn it in. Um, and they only, they only take um, appointments by scheduling. So if you're gonna walk it in like what I'm doing, you have to make an appointment. So I scheduled my uh, appointment for tomorrow morning, which is Tuesday. I'm gonna walk it in, um, get the stamped copy, and then I'm gonna send that back to Landstar and then they'll let me into the orientation. But um, I completed half, the, uh, half of the orientation today. Um, so they told me that I can go there on Wednesday morning and be there at noon um, since I already completed, you know, half a day of it. So basically I got to go all the way up to Oklahoma City right now. Um, I got to be there at 9.15 in the morning and, um, and, you know, just get it done because that's the ba basically the only thing that's holding me up right now is the 2290. So yeah, I, I mean, y'all just learn from my mistakes, seriously. Have your EIN number. And get your 2290 you know have have your ducks in a row before you decide to come over here and go into the orientation because if not then it's just gonna be a, be a big old mess before you get here so that's the best advice I can give you have your EIN number <laughs> and have and get your 2290 or at least have your EIN so you can get your 2290 so um, uh, I think that they say it takes seven to ten days to process your EIN number but like I said, I'm walking it in tomorrow morning. I scheduled an appointment, so I'm gonna walk it in. Um, I'm gonna pay for it and get the, the stamped certified copy or whatever, and then get that back to Landstar. So another thing you're gonna need is a couple of voided checks. You need a voided check for Lone Mountain, and you need a voided check for Landstar. So have some voided checks, have your account number. You're gonna need an updated physical, <clears throat> um, the EIN, and uh, the 2290 so uh, there's a lot of stuff it, it hasn't been an easy process so yeah anyways uh, I just want to show you guys my truck one more time 2013 Freightliner Cascadia um, if you guys got any you know any more questions about you know the process of going through Lone Mountain or getting on to Landstar or anything like that you know feel free to email me um, or you know comment in the description below so all right guys have a good one I'm out